find the integral from 0 to a quarter of 32 over the square root of 4 minus 16x squared dx. Okay, well, that root something minus something squared reminds me of the root 1 minus x squared in the derivative of arc sine. So maybe if I do some rearranging, I can make it look more like the derivative of arc sine, and I can use arc sine to integrate it. I don't really want to keep writing that integral over and over, so I'll just do the algebra on just the bit there. So 32 over the square root of 4 minus 16x squared. Okay, so if it was the derivative of arc sine, there'd be a 1 in that spot there. So what if I take the 4 out? like that. And then square roots can be distributed over time, so I can do those square roots separately. So the square root of 4 would be 2, and the square root of 1 minus 4x squared would be the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. Okay, and I can cancel that and make that a 16, can't I? So that's 16 over the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. Okay. And if it was arc sine, that would just be a single thing squared. So why don't I do this? So that would be 2x all squared. Okay. And now... That would be 16 times 1 over the square root of 1 minus 2x all squared. And that's what we would get if we differentiated arc sine of 2x, except for the 2. So we can integrate that to give arc sine of 2x, but we'll have to divide by the 2 along the way. Okay, so the integral from 0 to a quarter of 32 over the square root of 4 minus 16x squared dx is the integral from 0 to a quarter of 16 times 1 over the square root of 1 minus 2x all squared dx. So the 16 will stay there and all of this will integrate to give arc sine of 2x but because it's 2x and that's just a constant times x I'm going to have to divide by the 2 so I've got 0 to a quarter of that so what do I get? Uh, 8 arc sine 2x from 0 to a quarter and so I'd get 8 arc sine of 2 times a quarter minus 8 arc sine of 0 and um, That's arc sine of a half. So arc sine is the opposite of sine. So I need to think of an angle that gives me sine of a half. Um, 1, 2, root 3. Sine of a half, that's this angle here. So 30 degrees pi on 6. So we've got 8 times pi on 6 minus 8 times an arc sine of 0 is 0. So we can cancel, divide both that and that by 2. So we've got 4 pi on 3. And that looks like the end.